But yeah, you know, conventions are, are full of um, are full of challenges. There's there's the expense aspect of it. Um, you, you you have to, to to do a convention, do it well. You have to come there with books and merchandise to sell, and there's no guarantee you're going to sell anything. Um, table fees can toss, cost anywhere from twenty dollars to two thousand dollars if you're looking at a booth at some of the big shows. Um, there's travel costs. There's chances are that um, the big shows aren't in your neck of the woods, there, um, and you're going to have to travel to, uh, to to get them. And that means planes, uh, planes, trains, uh, hotels, um, and potentially uh, ex overpriced food. Um, and there's also the convention gear, um, you know, banners, book stands, tablecloths, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There's no limit to the kinds of stuff that you might want to get for your table setup. Um, and then we're also talking time consuming. These are eight to 10 hour days. If you're traveling, sometimes that's time you're taking off work um, to get there. Um, and, and they're long, grueling days. And... Okay, you know, so here's a big dilemma that, that uh, creators have is, is the big question of, all right, well, how many books should I bring or should I print to this show? Do I print five? Do I print 500? Um, and the answer is I don't know. You know, I can't tell you how many how many of your books you, you should print. But what I can do is provide a framework um, and some some good guiding questions that you should ask yourself um, that will help you prepare for and and, and make a, a better decision about, about that answer. So um, first, you know, first up is, is how much money do you have? You know, obviously if you're playing for books ahead of time, um, this is a limiting factor, um, and and it can be a limiting factor. Now. Little known fact, however, though, there are some printers out there, believe it or not, who will give you, give you payment terms. And I've worked with printers who um, give me 30-day uh, payment terms or two-week payment terms. So, uh, I, and if you can order the book slightly before the show, the show and, um, and, and pay after the show um, with some of the, the funds that you've gotten from uh, selling your book, um, that makes it easier to, uh, to stock a little bit higher. So... Again, that's another reason to shop around. Um, but uh, but yeah, but in most cases, uh, funds are a bit of a, uh, a limiting are always going to be a limiting factor um, for us. Um, the next question is is how big is the show? You can try to find uh, this information out, um, and, and I'll talk a little bit about some of the differences between shows um, on a later slide. But um, the fact is, you know, you're not going to sell a hundred books at a show that has a hundred people. Not everybody's going to walk out with your book. It doesn't really matter, you know, how great it is. Um, so you need to uh, have a uh, get have a good sense of, of what size show this is and and what you know potential what your potential audience is going to be. So this is an actual promotion that's going on right now uh, for myself. Um, it's 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 my free sketch card promotion for Boston Comic Con. 2012, and I'm going to um, go step by step um, and tell you how I did it. And 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 and, and so what is it? Well, the show is uh, Boston Comic Con isn't until April 21st. It's more than a month away. Um, but as of today, uh, 60 people, most of them strangers, already have a great incentive to come uh, to my table and seek me out. Um, and I currently have uh, $645 in pre-order commissions for Boston Comic Con right now at this moment, okay? Um, Boston Comic Con tables are $175, but um, with this pre-order pre promotion, I have what, what's that, four times? Uh, uh, almost four times uh, my table fee that is already set up in pre-order commissions. So how'd I do it? Well, I'm gonna walk you step by step through it. Um, step one is to figure out what's the bait, okay? What is your promotion? What are you offering? That's going to get strangers or people interested, uh, and and it's going to attract them. It's going to attract them to your table ahead of time. Um, now, what I'm going to offer as bait might not be something that's going to work perfectly for you, um, but I'd suggest to come up and come, trying to come up and, and be creative and brainstorm and come up with something. And and you know, while it doesn't have necessarily have to be something free, there is something absolutely magical about the word free. If you haven't uh, downloaded the, the the book free by Chris Anderson, uh, the book was really it's a New York Times bestseller. He sold millions of copies, but he also gave it away for free. Um, so yeah, uh, uh, grab the audio version or something. It, it's great listen, fascinating study. But but um but a free offer um, as a as a, a pre-order uh, promotion 
or, or a, uh, is, is a great thing. So in terms of what my bait is, well, my bait is uh, the sketch card. So what I, what I offer and what I'm offering for Boston Comic Con is um, I'm offering, I will draw 75 people or 100 people, whatever I said was my limit was. I will draw that many people um, an original free sketch card of the character of their choice. Um, no, no, uh, no strings attached. Come to my, uh, come uh, put in a request for the free sketch card in advance of the show, and uh, I'll have it there for you. But the question is, all right, well, you know, how does giving away a free sketch card lead to any, um, lead to any money? Well, there's an upsell with it. Um, the offer is you get a free sketch card, but I also pair right with um, the sketch card offer. I let them know that there's better deals to be had. So um, in my cases, the three products that I choose to upsell with the free sketch card is, uh, and I do a couple different tiers. I have a, a, 20, uh, a product in the 20 to $30 range, which is a seven and a half uh, by 10 sketch and something like this. So, you know, here's a, here's a bagged and board seven and a half uh, sketch. Again, character of uh, character of their choice. So that's one product. Another product I do is I have a I have an art book that's full of uh, the commissions and, and and convention sketches that I've done over the years, along with some original creations. And I, I offer that in the thirty to forty dollar range, um, and that also comes with an original sketch inside. Um, or I do I also offer a full Monty eleven by seven time, seventeen full commission that's in the seventy five to one hundred dollar range. Um, so those are the upsell, and what I'm finding is about, you know, uh, if if I get 60 people to um, to order a free sketch to, to request a free sketch card, maybe 10 to 20 percent of them will also ask for, a, a, uh, will also say, hey, yeah, and and why don't you throw in, in addition to my free sketch card, throw in a a, a sketch, or throw in a, an art book with a sketch, or throw in a full commission. Um, and in some cases, I've had someone request the full Monty, and they get the, the sketch card, the full sketch, the art book, and the full commission. You've come up with the, the, the bait. You've come up with the upsell. Um, what next? Okay, well, next you, you're going to post on your platform. You know, I put, put it as a, a blog entry on my, um, on my website that has a, a, its own link directly to the offer. Um, and it's very clearly stated out. Um, and if you go to my website, tylerjamescomics.com, you can see it in its full glory. But um, yeah, it, it spells it out. Get a free sketch card at Boston Comic Con. And so what I'll, I basically say is, uh, if, if you're interested, either reply uh, and respond uh, in the comments field or email me at my email address and let me know uh, what your name is, who you're going to be, uh, or what character you want, and what day you're going to be at the show. Um, the reason I don't, the reason I say also do it in the comments is because, you know, because when comments start piling up, people say, hey, wait a minute, this offer is for real. And if they see 25 people putting in orders, and especially they see people putting in orders for additional things also, you know, buying the sketch cards or, and, and, oh yeah, I'll take a $20 sketch. I'll take a, I'll take a hundred dollars uh, full color, uh, 11 by seven commission. That sounds awesome. Uh, you know, that enthusiasm or enthusiasm for it is, is infectious. So uh, it's a very... Um, very powerful, uh, very powerful way to for, for way to do it. Um, okay, so um, step four. After you've posted on it, then you got to promote it. That's where you get to your your social networks. Put out the word on Twitter, on Facebook, your Google Plus. Um, you know, talk it up. Uh, don't forget convention scene. It's a great offer that um, that convention scene. Again, anything that has to do with conventions, that's what that website is is all about. It's also the website that has the best convention calendar um, on the planet. So definitely check out conventionscene.com. But here's the other, th the other thing that's great about getting these requests in is that um, what you're getting is you're getting a contact. You're getting uh, someone who uh, is attending that show. You're getting a name and you're getting an email. Um, and so what I do is, uh, is I build a contact list um, based on these people. So I have, a, I have a list. I use MailChimp. Dot com for email communications. Highly, highly recommend them um, for, for just getting the word out about stuff that, that I do and, and, and building your list. But, um, but so I have, a, I have a list of Boston Comic Con fans 
of people that have contacted me and requested um, and requested stuff. And um, you're going to want to use that list because you, you're going to want to stay in contact with, with that list. In some cases, I, I've been taking, uh, I put up that ad uh, at the very end of January, and the show is not even in, until mid-April. So um, there's probably plenty of fans that are going to, that, that were put in the request, and, and, and if I don't remind them, they're going to forget that they even did that and not show up. So I've learned that, you know, I will send a, a reminder email, um, you know, about a month in advance, two weeks in advance, um, and then right before the show um, to uh, alert them and remind them of, of that, they, that they put in their order, or that they put in an order. Um, sometimes I'll, I'll put up a, a, an, an image of the collection of all the different art that, I, that I've done uh, to sort of get them excited about getting it. Um, and, and then I'll also put information about where my booth is going to be located. Um, sometimes it's hard to find people in Artist Alley, and so I'll give information like that. And then I'll also include uh, below the fold some, a preview of some of the things that I'm going to be bringing, sort of whet their appetite for the other products that I, I might have. Again, most of these people that are finding this, this offer are, are strangers to me and, stra and unfamiliar with my work beyond just what they saw on the web page um, with the, the free sketch cards. So um, it's a great opportunity to prime the pump for sales. And in most cases, they say, well, either I've oh, I looked a little bit on your website, uh, tell me more, or, you know, no, I haven't. What, what, are you, what are you doing? And, you know, I would say the conversion rate of people that get free sketch cards to actually buying something is something like 70 to 90, 70 to 85 percent just from my, my personal history. So again, you know, it, you, you've done a solid for them. Eventually, they're gonna they're gonna come back and, and, and repay it in kind, and, and uh, so it's a it's a, a very successful promotion from that end. Um, step nine uh, is after the show. You still have uh, that that contact list, uh, so don't forget to email them and say thanks. You know, maybe if if you took a couple uh, pictures at the show, uh, include some pictures in there and say, or if you took a video, send them a link back to your website and say, hey. I, I posted some pictures and some video, had a good time um, talk, meeting, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but, you know, a, a gracious thank you is always appreciated. And, you know, if you feel bold, you might even ask them to, uh, you might even give them the, the email address for the show promoter and uh, say to them that, you know, if they really enjoyed themselves, uh, to tell that promoter that they should make sure to have you back next year, um, maybe as, a, as an invited guest.